we'd like to simplify. And in order to simplify, my recommendation is that the very first thing you do is rewrite what's inside the parentheses to make it look like a fraction so we can use our shortcut. So I'm gonna rewrite this as negative five over one. Now that I have a fraction on the inside, we've learned that you can turn this exponent into a positive by taking the reciprocal of what's inside. So I'm going to, I put the negative five over one, and now I'm gonna take the reciprocal and make this one over negative five, and by taking the reciprocal, it changes the sign to positive three. You could use some exponent rules from here, but I think it's easier to just visualize. If you have negative one-fifth to the third, you have negative one-fifth times negative one-fifth times negative one-fifth. When you are multiplying an odd amount of negatives, there's one, two, three negatives, if you have three negatives multiplied together, an odd amount, your final answer is negative. And when you multiply fractions, you just multiply across. So one times one is one, and one times one is one, so my top is one. Five times five is 25, and 25 times five is 125. So I have one over 125. There are three negatives, so my answers negative. Okay, so let's do one more of these. Step one, so that I can use the shortcut to turn this negative exponent to a positive, I'm going to emphasize that this negative six is over one. Now that I really see the fraction inside, I can take the reciprocal and turn that into a positive two. Now, when you take the reciprocal of negative six over one, it becomes one over negative six. The sign isn't changing. We're just flipping that fraction over. So by flipping over negative six over one and making it one over negative six, that's changing the sign on the exponent. So it's going to a positive two. And then finally, if I have something squared, I'm multiplying it times itself. So I have negative one six times negative one six. If we have an even amount of negatives, one, two, I have an even amount of negative numbers multiplied together, your answer is positive. And then when you multiply fractions, you multiply across. So one times one is one, and six times six is 36. So I end up here with positive one over 36. Two negatives, so positive, multiply straight across, one over 36. Quick recap one more time is, if you have something in parentheses to a negative number, a shortcut is, to take the reciprocal of what's inside parentheses and that changes the sign of your exponent.